Hello, everybody. Hi, 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 my babes. How are you guys doing? Welcome to your love reading. Hi, Alicia. Hello, everybody. Hi, Tamara. Hi, Mindy. Can Earth be first? Yes, babe. Earth can be first. I got you. Taurus, Virgo, Cappy, you guys are number one today. I missed you guys. How have you been? Good morning, good afternoon. Water babies, I see you. My water science showed up today. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Whoa. What? Excuse me, what was that? Okay, air babies, I see you. Y'all, did you know that uh, Mars is about to go retrograde for a couple months? Hold on to your asses, babes. Communication, meltdowns, and anger that has been hidden will be coming out during Mars retrograde. So, ooh! It could get ugly. All right, who's last? Fire babies. Everybody tap in, get the collective in here. I released my icy evil eye bracelet. It's ready to go. If you guys want one, the link is in the bio. I'm going to be doing another one besides this one. So keep a lookout for that. I'll have a different evil eye bracelet available soon. Aries, Leo, Sag, you guys are last today. Collective reading at the end. For everybody that's left at the end of the live, we'll do a reading. Here's the menu. For today. Here we go, babes. Let's get it. You finally caught me live. Yay! Alright, what are we doing? Earth signs. Okay. <laughs> Focus. Taurus, Virgo, Cappy. And anybody dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn? What is going on with the cards today? I, Spirit wants me to do like a lot of clearing. Clearing the energy. We're clearing out old energy. Releasing old energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Letting go of the past. Releasing things that are not serving us. Spirit just said going into our shell, the wheel, that's completion of a cycle, faded and destined to end, so there's endings that had to happen or that are happening right now. But it was meant to be, it was 
meant to end. Hey Ada Santiago. I'm doing amazing. How are you, babe? Let's get into Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Sending me love from Colorado. Aw, oh, thank you, Colorado. I've been to Colorado. The weather is crazy. It'll be, like, super nice. And then around 5 p.m. every evening that I was there, it just, like, downpoured. It's pretty interesting. And then it would stop, and everything was fine. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? We have playfulness. Seattle. What's up, Seattle? Whoa, damn, okay, damn. All right, wedding. What's going on, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn? Five of Swords, what happened? Okay, Eight of Swords. Sheesh, Earth signs, Four of Cups, what is going on? Somebody here is really unsatisfied with the situation. They feel like things have become too stressful, serious, negative in a connection. So if you need to flip the energy, flip it. But I'm getting that the person that you are connected to feels like things between the two of you are not going well at all and it's gotten like too stressful and serious. They they're thinking negatively about the future right now. You guys could be feeling this way if you need to flip it, flip it, but this is like the person that you're dealing with. Some of you guys are married to this person or you're in a commitment with them. Or it's been a significant time together. You guys have been connected to this person for a long period of time. But it's like the spark has gone out. The fun times are over. Hold on, Mr. Bean wants to come in. Hold on. He's like harassing my door right now. So hold on. So this person is not happy with the way things are between the two of you. They feel like the fun is over. Hmm. Knight of Cups. Could be a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm getting like depression from this person even. Especially about the situation between the two of you. There's like sadness and depression and feelings that haven't been expressed, but it's negative feelings. Okay. One of you may have walked away or this person is thinking about walking away or if this is you that's in this energy. It's like you guys are, yeah, look at that. Eight of Cups walking away. This is somebody that's ready to evolve onto something new and just... hes He quit building the pyramid that he was working on. He's just done. He's going... He's heading north. <laughs> That's what Spirit just said. He's heading north, so there, there could be some significance about the north or north. 
Is it Kim Kardashian? Is it you? Are we talking about you and Pete right now? <laughs> but it's like, unsure if leaving is the right decision or giving up is the right decision. But feeling emotionally done. It's like, I don't want to work on this anymore. But feeling like, I hope I don't regret this later if I do walk away. Because there was, there were good times in the past. There's like this feeling of the fun is over. So it used to be a lot of fun. There was a lot of fun going on. You guys had a strong connection in the beginning. Things were really serious. But there's like, I feel like you guys didn't have great communication with each other. Or this person wasn't good about being vulnerable with expressing their emotions. So the communication was, whoa, that plane is like shaking. <laughs> um, there's some intense energy here. So this person, I feel like hasn't been communicating in a healthy way to where you guys can even work things out. They've been hiding a lot of their feelings, so that's going to make it more difficult, too. Some of you, they're, like, emotionally unavailable, or they're not good with expressing themselves, or they're not good about communicating, talking about their feelings. There's a lot of, like, hidden emotion here, and it feels like built-up resentment between the two of you. Four of Cups again. This is, like, being really unsatisfied with the way things are, and I feel like you're both at that place with each other. You're both unhappy. You're both feeling... There's like feelings of rejection. Feelings of... Being... Like not wanting... What's being offered to you. This is... Two people that are really unsatisfied with the connection. The petals are like... There's some, yeah, there's something about fall because the petals are falling. It's fall right now, so obviously that's significant. But it's like the tree is dying. The leaves are coming off. There's like this death, rebirth situation going on. So this, like I said in the beginning, this is destined to happen because we had the wheel. Oh, the wheel came out when I was shuffling. So completion of cycles that was meant to happen you guys were meant to walk away and evolve from this situation even though it used to be good it, it started out well things went left it was meant to end okay could be marriage involved somehow for some of you Tap in and claim it if it's yours. Kim Kardashian. That felt like Kim and Pete. <laughs> that was Kim and Pete energy right there. Okay. Here we go. Water signs. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And cross watchers that are dealing with a water baby. Thank you guys for sending gifts. If I missed that you sent me a gift, I'm sending all of that yummy energy back to you. Thank you so much, babes. That's like a little tip for me, so I definitely appreciate that. Water babies, water gang, what do we got? Make it good, spirit. I just got nervous. Are you guys nervous? Or is it just me? Thank you, Layla. I love that name. Layla. You got me on my knees, Layla. I'm begging, darling, please. Whoa. Ooh, passion. Thank you, Felicidad. Thank you, babe. Have I told you guys lately that I love you? Woo! Healing family issues. Let's get some tarot. 
the magician. You guys are manifesting right now, water signs. Or you're about to start manifesting by... Some of you guys have been dealing with uh, stressful or depressing times. You've been feeling depressed or feeling pressed. <laughs> okay, spirit. <laughs> You've been feeling depressed and pressed, my water signs. A lot of pressure going on around you. A lot of stress. There's also some things from the past that are coming up and being triggered. Your past is being triggered. But all of this is helping you get into alignment with what you want. Because you're, you're going to manifest something. Eight of Cups walking away from things. You guys are evolving. Ace of Cups. Ooh, new love. Hello. What? If you guys were like hoping for a new partner that you are manifesting that a new love this is a new love that you've never met before or this is career and you guys are coming into a life path of like that you're going to be passionate about that you're going to feel motivated to do you're going to feel fulfilled at your work, you know, with, with what you're doing for your work. Like you feel like you're on the right path and you're passionate about what you're doing. But a lot of you, this is a new love too. Dang, okay. So releasing the past, walking away from things that you didn't want. Some of you guys are like quitting a job, starting a new job. Getting out of one relationship and meeting somebody new. There is a little bit of triggering going on for you right now though. So, But it's meant to help you heal the past. There's emotions that you kind of blocked out or pushed away in the past that are going to start coming up for you or they already have been. And that is so that you can feel it so you can heal it. Temperance. This is healing. Temperance is about healing. It's taking, going from one extreme to balance. It's like when Goldilocks went and jacked up the three bears cabin and <laughs> put her spoon in all their porridge and found the one that was just right. It's like you guys have been through really extreme times. You've You've taken a bite of something really fucking hot that burned you, and then you've taken a bite of something that was frozen cold and it stung, and now you're about to take a bite of something that is just right. So you're finding balance in your life. You're coming into union with your higher self, and you're getting on the path that feels fulfilling and passionate to you. There could be a Sagittarius around you, this is Sagittarius energy here. Six of Cups. Ooh, this is a past life person. For those of you that are meeting somebody new, you knew each other in a past life. For some of you, this is a new beginning with somebody that you already know. Thank you, Karen. Or Karen. Sorry if I don't say your names right. I'm from another planet. <laughs> I don't speak English so well. Yeah, you guys are going to come into union with somebody from a past life here. Even if you know this person already, you've had past lives together, so they're going to feel like a significant connection for you. Like they're going to stand out. Three of Pentacles. Some of you meet this person at work. Or you know them through work. You worked with them in the past. That's very specific. 
Thank you, babe. Thank you so much for all the gifts, for the love yous. Oh my God. Thank you so much. All right. You guys, some of you are leaving a job and starting a new job. You're walking out on a job and you're going towards something that's going to be more of what you want. The people that you work with are going to work well with you. You know, whoever it is that you're working with at this new job, if this is for work, it's like everything just flows for you. And then there's somebody here. Okay, I'm. this is really specific. For those of you that you have somebody from the past that is coming back in, they're with somebody else or they were recently with somebody else, but they're leaving that person and coming toward you. So for some of you, there was like a third party situation going on. So you guys couldn't be with each other. They're leaving that person and coming back toward you to have a new a new start with you because temperance is restoring a connection as well same with six of cups and it's like they're they're cutting somebody out to be with you somebody's walking away from a connection but for my feminines out there it feels like the masculine is leaving another feminine and coming toward you because this is you they could be with an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and come toward you now. They feel like you're... This lover feels like you're very sweet, nurturing. They like your emotions. They like that you're like kind of sensitive. Nurturing, sweet, kind, empathetic. There's like an empath energy to you. And the person that they were dealing with, for those of them that had somebody, was not like that. They were dealing with a feminine that was more cold and aggressive and not very nice. Very spicy. I feel like they were fighting a lot with this person. Some of you, it's the mother or father of their child. But yeah, there could definitely be children involved for a specific group of you. Um, some of you guys, you're getting this financial freedom and you have children to take care of. You're going to have more stability for your children here. There's a lot of stability for those of you that are looking for stability through your finances and your career that is there like to where you can take care of yourself and your family and feel emotionally fulfilled in the job that you're doing like you feel like what you're doing is important and you're passionate about it and you feel like you're making a difference in people's lives or through your work So yeah, everything's going really well for my water babies. Love and money looks good. It looks good. And there's some spicy energy. It could be uh, somebody that was in competition with you is what I'm getting. Somebody that was like being competitive with you. Specifically somebody like another feminine. If you're a feminine, they were like in competition with you somehow or at work or with a lover it could be your friend. It could be a family member that's like this with you. They're like aggressive and competitive, jealous. But it's like you're getting away from them. You're not dealing with their stress anymore. You're walking away from that energy or the person that you're with is dealing with somebody like that. The person that you're about to be with has a baby mama in their life that's like that or an ex somebody around them that they're with that they're getting away from that is like very jealous competitive aggressive bitchy 
She's a bitch. <laughs> Top it and clean it. Mr. Bean, you want to go now? Yeah, you want to go? Hold on. The king would like to leave now. I swear he's just like in and out. In and out. In and out. Hold on. babies somebody have a star tattoo a starfish Aquarius that's Aquarius energy the star I don't know spirit just showed me a star tattoo Time to hydrate, babes. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And cross watchers. Ooh. Six of swords. Nice. We like that. The swords is yummy energy, air babies. Damn, a lot of you guys almost start tattoo. Okay. Whoa. Free yourself. Jeez, your cards are flying out, air signs. Let your friends help you free yourself. <laughs> okay, spirit. That's it. That's the message. We're done with air babies. Let your friends help you free yourself. Just kidding. Just kidding. We're going to get into it. So this can be spirit. This can be me because I'm your fucking friend. I'm your bestie. Or this could literally be like your girlfriends, your family. There's somebody here helping my air babies get control of their life. There's like somebody to support you right now when you need help getting out of a situation. Or getting through a situation that's like very mentally heavy. The Six of Swords is about moving from rocky waters to a more peaceful time in your life. Which is what we saw when I was shuffling for my air babies. So it's like you're going from... You're, you're coming out of the storm. Is what Spirit just said. You're coming out of the storm into more peaceful, calm, zen tranquil time if you need a zen bracelet i got that shit in my shop <laughs> little plug for my bracelets we got zen bracelets available knight of pentacles nine knight of pentacles and nine of pentacles Nice energy, though. And the star. Spirit, I love you. You guys, it's the star. I said that when we were just about to get into the air signs. I'm seeing a star tattoo. Something about a starfish. This is Aquarius energy, like I said. Spirit. Can I have a raise now? <laughs> One one two two. It's eleven twenty two here. It's two 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 where you're at. Okay, I like this energy, air babies. I like it a lot. Ace of Wands. Uh oh, you guys about to get dick down. <laughs> Ace of Wands. Boy yoing. Hello. Some of you guys are, you've got a masculine energy that's very attracted to you, coming in, wanting to make a move. You guys are getting out of something too. 
You guys are freeing yourselves from manifesting negative outcomes, um, manifesting situations that you don't want. There's this passionate new beginning because you guys are following good advice. You guys are fault. You're, I'm hearing that you're taking your own good advice for some of you. You're taking action to make your life what you want it. You're like motivated right now. And this person is very attracted to you because now you're glowing. Or you're about to be in this energy once you free yourself from this stressful, low vibrational energy that you were in this is like somebody that's glowing up like look at her that bitch is dripping in gold and she has everything she wants she's confident she's sexy she's glowing her vibration is high she even has a magic wand in her hand you guys are like magical making your wishes come true your dreams come true there's a hummingbird here that can be significant for you too you guys are like a butterfly coming out of your cocoon, expanding and glowing up. She literally has butterfly wings. This is really nice energy, air babies. Especially Aquarius. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here with the Knight of Air. You guys are taking action and making your life what you want it and getting everything you want. And some of you, if you are wanting a little intimate time, is here, baby. Three of Pentacles. <laughs> Again, Nine of Pentacles twice. Very strong, strong energy. Ten of Pentacles. Damn, you guys. Your money situation is about to pop off, too, for a lot of you. That's coming through. Like, my collective is manifesting abundance when it comes to material wealth. Like, they're surrounded by money. It's raining. Some of you have, like, um, other avenues of income coming in. Or your income is about to grow. This is what you wish for. Financial freedom for a lot of you. Doing something that you're really passionate about. And have it's like you don't have to work so hard either. You still have time to like go on vacation. But you have the money to do it. You know, you, you can still take time off work, take time to yourself and still have money. You're not like having to work three jobs. It's like you have this other avenue of income that's coming in, but it's like a passive income. Or you're just making more money, getting a raise, getting vacation time. There's just like time for you to make money and time for you to rest. All of your goals are like getting closer. It's like you're right on the target when it comes to your goals and what you want to accomplish right now. Some of you want to accomplish that deck. <laughs> Ew. All right. I am getting... You have options or this person that you're connecting with has other options. There's like outside influences, but I see you guys having their attention. If they're the one that has other people around them wanting to date them or interested in them, they only have their eye on you specifically. But there is like one other feminine around here. If you guys are the feminine... There's a feminine lurking. Who are you? What do you want? <laughs> There's a feminine energy like mysteriously lurking around the connection that you're in or that you're about to be in. Hmm. I want to know more now. Hold on. 
tell us about the third party energy that's trying to interfere. Oh, she's a bitch too. Okay. My collective, you guys got some like jealous, competitive energy around you. She keeps coming up. She feels like she could be a friend of yours. She could be dealing with the person that you're dealing with or an ex of theirs, like I keep saying. But she feels like, get an evil eye, get the evil eye shit on. Because it feels like she's trying to send negative energy. If you have protective crystals, put those on. Obsidian, tourmaline, onyx. Okay. Because she... I don't like her. <laughs> We're going to put her away. You get... Go away. She's a bitch, is what Spirit keeps saying. Who is this bitch? Some of you, it's like one of your friends. You need to cut that shit off. Okay. Tap in and claim it. You know those friends that are like flirting with your new man? Ooh, I had one of those. I was like, hey girl, you want to go with me to the club to meet up with this guy, so-and-so, and his friends? Because it was like the second time I was going to see him, so I wanted somebody to come with me. This bitch had the audacity to ask for his number <laughs> at the end of the night. Ooh! Trifling. Okay. Fire signs, little story time for you guys. Aries Leo Sag. I need to cool myself off with some water after telling that story. Gets mama all fired up. <laughs> I forgive her. Love and light. Love and light to her. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and cross watchers that are dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sag. Here we go. What the hell? Okay, hold on. Codependency, healing codependency, and release your ex. Just fell on the floor. Okay. Healing the past, releasing the past. Feeling like I don't need nobody. I, I can be single and I'm fine. My fire babies are like, well, Miss Independent. I don't need no man. Taking time alone, healing, detaching from the people that you thought would be around. Cord cutting is what I just heard. Cord cutting. Cutting the cord. Oh, damn. Okay. Scorpio energy with the death card. You guys are like done. I don't need anybody. Little Miss Independent. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. Whoa. Five of Swords. Six of Cups. That's interesting. What? Who's that? Who's this person? You guys are releasing somebody and somebody from the past wants to come back. For some of you, this is a different person though. 
you're releasing the past and meeting somebody new. Whoa. You guys are walking away from somebody and then you have like this new, really yummy energy. We like the King of Cups. Brr, come to mama. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I heard that Cancer masculines are great. Is that true? I don't know. He's romantic. He's like Romeo. Some of you guys know this person already, but some of you, you're just releasing the past and this is somebody new that is more mature, level-headed, emotionally evolved, emotional maturity coming through with this guy. It's like that scenario where you stop looking for love and it shows up at your door. The star. <laughs> He's exactly what you want. Yeah, you guys are releasing, walking away from somebody that was deceptive toward you. Some of you guys were lied to, cheated on. There was a lot of negative energy between you and your past. Somebody trying to get away with shit manipulative energy in the past you guys are done you're not accepting that that's unacceptable period <laughs> you guys are all no very assertive about it like I'm not putting up with that shit don't even try that with me I'll leave so fast it'll make your head spin is what spirit just said <laughs> Five of Pentacles, the person from the past is like, wasn't expecting you to do that, or you're the first person that's done that to them, taught them a little lesson. You guys are good on your own though, but you got this person here, it could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, a Virgo, an Aquarius, that wants to give you their love stick. <laughs> They want to give you love. They want to give you. They want to emotionally connect with you. But I feel like you're you're kind of at a place where you don't really even want a relationship. Or you're not ready to move on yet. You're not ready for something new. This is like, I, I kind of want to just be single right now. And focus on myself. And get over the past and heal it's like you guys want some healing time it's like this person's coming in too soon or the person from the past is trying to return and you guys are like no i'd rather be single <laughs> Ooh, that hurts some of you guys like whatever you said to this person that you're releasing right now it's going to hurt, but it's a lesson for them. It like hurts their ego, but it, it's some sort of a lesson for you to walk away, not put up with their shit anymore. Look at her. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Back away. You guys are like, yeah, you're not ready for something new, it looks like. You're still a little bit jaded. You still got your guard up. You're still trying to heal from the past. The issues that you've been through in the relationships. Get over your ex. And you're just like fine. I'm fine by myself, Amy. I don't need love right now. I need a break. <laughs> what mama needs is a bath with a mimosa. And some... What's that one? Uh... <laughs> Dang it, Fleetwood Mac. I'm horrible with the names of artists, but I got it. Fleetwood Mac. You guys are like, I just want a bubble bath and some silence. Silence! Off with his head. You guys are done with this person. <laughs> if they try to approach you, I feel like you guys are going to block them or... Tell them you do not want to talk to... I wish to never speak to you again, sir. Good day, sir. Okay, tap it and claim it. Fire babies. I'm 
let's do a little collective. Can I do Capricorn again? I can't. But I can do a collective reading. Wait, are you actually spamming that? Okay, don't be annoying in the chat. Don't be annoying. The answers you need are coming. Have faith in your dreams. Don't let your past hold you back. That sounds like fire sign reading. Nothing will come of the situation. Release the past. So I'm getting that some of you guys are settling for situations because that's what's there. Eee. Spirit's about to drag you, babes. Don't settle for somebody just because that's what's being offered to you and that's what's there. Especially if it's an ex that it didn't work out with in the past already and you've tried and tried and you just keep giving them more chances and they keep fucking up and it's like nothing's changing. But it's actually blocking you from meeting the person that you want to be with. By continuing to engage and be connected to this energy, there's no room for new energy to come in. <laughs> you, guys, you guys are like, holy shit, what? Let me read this one to you. The answers you need are coming. Oh my god, I opened right up to it. Nice. Nice. This card is a reminder that it's important to speak your truth. All right? So be honest. Don't hold back how you truly feel just to appease somebody or, okay, I got to drag you for a second, babes. If you guys are telling somebody what you think they want to hear or trying to be what they want you to be when it's not your authentic self, that's actually manipulation. And spirit's like, Stop doing that. Speak your truth. It's important to speak your truth. But remember that your words have consequences and impact the person that you're talking to as well. So use your words with indiscretion or with discretion. Guard against indiscretion. The answers that you need may well come very soon. The issue that you're facing could be one of a few conversations away from being over with. If you're inquiring about a love situation, a little flirting may be what was going on. Okay, so I'm getting that you guys, this person like kind of breadcrumbs you and keeps you hanging out like they flirt with you a little bit. They keep you hanging on, but they're not giving you more than just like a little conversation. And it's leading up to a serious conversation between the two of you where it feels like most of you guys are going to be ending things. But I feel like a lot of you have already had serious conversations with them and it nothing changed or it changed temporarily and it went right back to the way that it was before. If this person might try to lay it on thick with you um, when you try to detach from them, they, I feel like are going to start chasing a lot of you. As soon as you pull back and try to detach, they're going to try to chase. Uh, if you're in the middle of an argument, this card comes to you as a reminder of the old saying, very non Gemini message. Cause Gemini's like to talk a lot. Least said, soonest mended. So say less. Just 
get to the point. Be truthful about how you feel, but don't let it drag on and on. Don't let this person try to hook you into conversations, trying to drag it on. Like some of you might cut off communication with this person and then they hit you up. Hey, what are you doing? I miss you. And you have a hard time ignoring when they come back. <laughs> you guys are all laughing. <laughs> yep. So it's like, don't keep engaging with them. Don't keep answering them. Don't keep the connection going. It's time to just walk away and stop engaging with this person because I feel like they're going to try to keep engaging with you. They're going to do some chasing. It's good to talk, but be careful you aren't causing yourself any issues with your words. Okay, like, oh, there's nothing wrong with just saying hi. Well, yeah, but now it's connecting you back to them again and it's going to be even harder to let go. The more you engage, the harder it is to walk away. So are your words causing you issues? Your word is your wand. You create magic in your own reality every time you express yourself. Have faith in your dream and magic of what you want with your life. Because you can have it. So I want to read that one to you. Um, but it says here, have an important conversation, but stay calm about it and don't say too much and don't continue engaging in the conversation after you've made your point. Because some of you, this person's going to try to argue with you. They're going to try to come back and talk to you, all that kind of stuff. It's like, just cut it off. Um, if you put in any job applications, it says good prospect for job applications with this card, which we saw in the air sign reading. I think it was air babies that had a new job coming. Okay, so have faith in your dreams. Let's read that one. Do, do, do. Waxing crescent moon. This is the Moonology deck. Waxing Crescent Moon, page 26. Okay, don't give up. The situation you're asking about is still taking shape. So what you want is out there. Some of you guys are thinking, Maybe what I want in a person isn't realistic. Maybe I'm being too picky. Maybe I need to lower my standards. Maybe I will never find the person that I'm looking for that has the qualities that I want. So I should just settle. But you're nowhere near the end of your story. Whatever is happening now is just a step along the way. As they say in the self-help classics, everything will be okay in the end. If it's not okay, it's not the end. This card is a reminder that you must still keep working toward whatever it is that you want. So don't give up on love. Don't become jaded and say, I'm just done. If you can't take practical steps, just spend some time meditating and asking yourself about the situation allow your higher self to download information to you about your best next step so if you don't know what to do just take a break and don't do shit <laughs> Spirit says. if you don't know what to do it means you're not meant to do anything yet because when it's time to do something you'll have the motivation and the drive to do it Overall, this card suggests that there is every reason to be hopeful for a very positive outcome to the situation you're asking about. So keep the faith. Don't lose hope. Don't lose faith. Focus on what you want. Attune to the moon and say, I am focused on what I want. Just because you can't see your dreams doesn't mean that they're not manifesting. Don't look back. Stay focused on moving forward. So don't keep looking back on the past for those of you that keep recycling your ex. You know, McDonald's fries do not taste good. Heat it up. Just throw them away. <laughs> Be patient as events unfold. Some of you guys are impatient. So trying to settle for what's there because you're tired of waiting for what you want. 
dig a little deeper to find more courage. Even if it's not the time of the waxing moon when you pull this card, it still suggests that you need to really pursue your dreams. It's time to put your foot down hard as you chase your goals. Put your foot down. Okay, babes, that's it. That's all I got for you today. Thank you, Spirit, for all the messages. I will upload this to YouTube so you guys can rewatch it. You can watch it over and over, over and over again. Thank you, everybody that sent gifts and tapped in. I appreciate you. I love you, babes. I hope you have a blessed rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. I can't turn it off. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys.